Today I'm going to be making bacon -aise. This is a version of mayonnaise using all bacon fat. First up, I've got the speck here, which I have already rendered. So what I have done is pop the speck into the oven on 160 degrees for about one to two hours and just keep draining off the fat, draining off the fat, and you store that and use it later. And then we're going to use the speck as nice little textural components through the mayonnaise. Just going to do it on reverse, actually. And I'm going to sort of look at it through the hole in the lid. I don't want it so shredded that you can't see what it is we're putting through the mayonnaise. So up to about four or five. Just tip that out. You can see there's some nice big pieces there, which is what we were hoping for. So I have two egg yolks here. You could use one, but I'm going to use two. I've also got some Dijon mustard. Thank you. Some apple cider vinegar. You can use any vinegar at all. And I suggest that you use a vinegar because it helps the emulsification. Stay away from your lime and your lemon juice until the end for flavoring. So we're just going to use a, about just over a teaspoon. Then we're going to emulsify this for one minute on 37 degrees on speed four with a butterfly. We're going to remove the butterfly. And now I'm going to add through the hole in the lid the melted bacon fat. You can't have it too hot because it will damage what we've already started, which is the emulsifying process. So now we're going to go to speed five. I'm going to set the timer for about three minutes up to speed five. And then I'm going to pour the fat through. You need to be quite slow with it because otherwise it will split your mayonnaise as well. So what we have here is our baconase. If we put this in the fridge right now, it will go solid because of the bacon fat. We need to have that consistency of mayonnaise. So we're going to add some lemon juice, a half as heaps. I'm going to put a little bit of this in just to help, but if you blend yogurt too much, it goes very liquidy. So I'm going to just put in a spoonful to get it happening. Scrape down the sides. Speed four. We're going to put that into the fridge and when it's hardened up a little bit, we will fold through the remaining ingredients with our spatula. So our baconase has been in the fridge for about oh, 30 minutes or so. So we're going to add in the shredded speck and I'm just going to do that very gently on reverse. So that was three seconds and I'm happy with that. I'm going to scrape it out into our bowl here. It's quite solid at the moment, so we want to add some yogurt to make it more of a delicate consistency. Okay, so now we're going to fold it through a spoonful really at a time. You kind of got to do it by feel until you get that nice mayonnaise consistency. And really that's all you've got to do. Let's taste it on one of our lovely crackers. Yum. Mm. It's so good. 